Okay, let's work on our uh, Silent Night Christmas Carol on the banjo. Should be fun. It's it's a slow one uh, in three four times, so it makes it a little different than the other stuff that I've done videos on uh, for banjo. And a lot of it is based on uh, on a uh, what I would call a reverse forward roll instead of a forward reverse roll. It's a reverse forward. It goes one two three two. second line I've got my D chord here and a D chord here and a G chord here and a G chord here all in the same same roll with my right hand at the beginning I've just got um, my reverse part one two three and then uh, first string first string second string that's that roll one, two, three, one, one, two. Yeah, I've hit the same string twice. It's slow, so I can I can do that and then doesn't hurt anything. And both of that both of those are with my middle finger. Like so. And then I'm doing a part of a forward reverse roll with a slide. And I'm going from two to four on the third string with my slide. And my roll is three, two, one, five, one, two. Okay? So my first two phrases are and my slide. Okay, then I do that again. Then I go back um, to my. Um, then I go, go up to this D shape here. This is seventh fret, just barring across the um, three, two, and one strings, and doing that roll I was talking about, reverse forward. One, two, three, two, one, five. And I, I put the five in there intentionally because it's kind of setting up the next lick. So I got this D here on the seventh fret, barring three strings. I've got this D down here where I use my index finger second finger and pinky you'll remember in a previous video we had this D chord and uh, all I'm doing is letting my third finger off of that so that's second fret third string third fret second string and uh, fourth fret on the first string that's that's my second D chord I'm using my first one is on the seventh fret and then down here Okay, those two rolls. Now I'm going to a G, move up one fret, and uh, swap your index finger and second finger. So that now your second finger is on the fourth fret, your index is on the third fret, and your pinky is on the uh, fifth fret. Okay, that's my first G in the next phrase I'm working on. And now I just go to the open string. So what I'm doing is starting with my D up here. All is calm. Sorry. All is bright. Okay. Okay. Go to the next line, make your Cripple Creek C chord here. First finger on the second string, first fret. Uh, second finger on the first fret. I'm, not, I'm sorry, uh, first string, second fret. So here we go. Same roll again. One, two, three, two, one, five. Now the second half of my C part here break out of my roll for those two notes. I'm just going to do a one, two, three. This is on the fifth fret, first string, fifth fret, second string. And you can, I like using these two fingers, get a little better leverage with my second and third fingers. And then uh, <clears throat> fourth fret, first string, 
second fret, first string. So one, two, three, one, one, fourth fret, second fret. So my whole C phrase starts down here. Okay, then I'm back to my original uh, lick that I did at the very, very top of the song. Mother and child. It's the same lick as silent. Okay, that's just a repeat of that phrase. So my C. that entire line back to the C cold room okay so I'm down to <clears throat> the next to the last line on the sheet now I'm going to do my um, this one will be a, a one, two, three, two, one, three. I could have put the fifth in there, but I kind of it sounded better to me if I just went back to the third string. Okay, one, two, three, two, one, three. And that's here again on this D up the neck, barring across the seventh fret. Okay, with my my index finger. Now I'm going to extend my pinky out here to 10, okay, <clears throat> um, and I'm going to do a 1, 2, 3, take my pinky off, and do a 1, 2, heavenly, heavenly, so sleep. Okay, that's that D lick there. Now I'm back down to this G on uh, four, three, and five. Now I go up to this D, which is a seven, eight, and nine. Third string, second string, first string. And I do this the same way I did my D down here with my pinky here on the first string. Because I'm used to doing this this whole four string G shape. I'm just leaving off my third finger here. So that's the word peace. Peace. It's going from a G down here to a G up here. <clears throat> now, um, the last line. Sleeping. to figure out something to work with that. I'm starting here on the fifth fret, first string, that's my first note. And I'm kind of repeating my high G on the fifth string. So I'm going to one, five, one, two, three, two. Sleep in. Kind of approximating the melody there. And now this uh, last little D thing, I'll go ahead and put my D7 chord on here. This would be um, a third string, second fret, second string, first fret. We've been over that before in a different video. Uh, that one is a one, three, four, two, three. And ending with a quarter note there. And then uh, pretty much a four reverse roll. Three, two, one, five, one, two, three, pinch. And my last two pickup notes go back to the top of the page.